We've all been to the movies and seen the hero and heroine running across a field of flowers and the steady cam shot follows them all along the way in this wonderfully romantic shot. Well, I'm sorry. I just don't have fifteen or twenty thousand dollars to blow on a steady cam. And all I really want to use it for is to be able to go and do some wander shots around booths at the uh, Consumer Electronics Show here in Las Vegas. Well, what we have here is by Manfrotto. It's called the Moto Steady 585. And at about $100, I can afford to overlook a few of the things that bother me about it. Like, for instance, if I unlock it, it kind of tilts a little easily. It actually takes quite a while to get this balance just right, especially if you have something top heavy, like a light on top of your camera. It's going to take a long time to go and adjust the arms and adjust the weight to get it balanced just right. <clears throat> but for $100, we do get a pretty versatile little toy. Well, what I can do is I can loosen it up and it actually swivels very nicely and I can pull this rubber band off the bottom and now all of a sudden I've got a tripod that sits very nicely on the desk. What I also have is I can flip this weight up and put it against my shoulder and now all of a sudden I have a chest pod. A three-in-one to tool that allows me to get some of those really hard to get shots. You know like when you're following your kid along the sideline trying to get that great shot as they go and hit that soccer ball into the net and score the winning goal. Well all it's going to take is a little bit of imagination and a nice steady hand, especially if you've got one of those cam consumer camcorders that have a steady shot in it already. Combine that with a Manfrotto and you've got, well maybe not professional, but it's going to look professional, especially to your friends when you show them your home movies. So this has been the Manfrotto Moto Steady 585 with a street price of about hundred dollars. This has been Brian Chi, I'm with the Advanced Network Computing Laboratory, and this has been an episode of Gadget, and we're here in the Henderson Bunker. Thank you.